The faded pictures on the walls of Aztec printing tell the story of struggles, protests, and victories within the Chicano movement in San Diego and all over the country. Jerry Apodaca was a member of the Committee on Chicano Rights, an organization that was headquartered inside the shop. In its last few days, he helped pack up and close things down. Apodaca was drawn to Aztec printing in the 1970s while registering people to vote. It gave the community a voice, first of all, a place to come, the disenfranchised, a place to come and, and be heard. The owner of Aztec printing is Herman Baca. He started the business in his garage in the late 60s with a printing press he bought from his old boss. People started coming over and pretty soon, you know, uh, it was half business and half movement politics, you know, and sort of a community meeting place. Baca was at the vanguard of the Chicano movement and earned a reputation as a Chicano rights activist, a printer, a historian, and a leader. I guess printing presses attract politically inclined people. He along with others, were involved with things like fighting for farm worker rights, getting more Chicanos and Latinos to vote, holding boycotts and protests against police brutality. Baca says threats were made all the time. At one point, someone broke all the windows in front of his shop. A police investigation listed the incident as a hate crime, but it didn't stop Baca or those involved with the movement. Now, the digital age forced Baca to shut the presses down. What's next? History. Baca said he'll finish archiving a collection of documents and photos from the Chicano movement now housed at UC San Diego's Mandeville Special Collections Library. There's an old saying that if you want a solution to a problem, you first have to know what the problem is. But the only way you can know what the problem is, is you have to understand history. Jesus! 